What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure surgery, man. Very excited for this episode. We got some brand new figures featured here today. A lot of figures that I picked up in the last few weeks. If you guys missed our episode of My Damn Hauls yesterday, please go check that out as well as My Damn Thoughts. We got three kind of like iconic series here on the channel back to back to back with the My Damn Thoughts on Elite Series 93. The My Damn Hauls episode of 82 is episode number 82 of My Damn Hauls. Slowly approaching number 100. Gotta think of something special for that and today we're back with action figure surgery i have zero clue what episode it is but it is back here today i think this is episode 75 maybe if i'm not mistaken i think we hit one like two weeks ago or something like that but we are back man very excited you guys can see the different figures that we have featured here today i think we got some cool formulas worked up i'm very excited so let's go ahead and get started if you guys didn't know what action figure surgery is basically we take wwe aew wrestling action figures or any figures in general pretty much wwe and wrestling related though and we take them and we fix them up we head swap them we torso swap them we part switch we paint we swap we do all those things to create a whole new figure slash fix up to make the figure look a little bit spicier put a little swag on it put the mdt touch on it if you will and today we're going to start off with the guy on the stretcher because we always start off with the guy on the stretcher first up we have my man randy orton right here this is the elite series 90 randy orton this is the best randy orton figure you could possibly find if you want to go check out my ranking on randy orton elite figures from work to best go check that video out but today man we're gonna be head swapping this guy and i think taking the elite series 67 figure back here will make for a really cool swap okay randy orton oh uh... Roman took a tumble there, but Randy Orton's one of my favorites of all time, so I have a ton of his figures, and since I have so many copies of Randy Orton, I like to switch it up, you know, I don't want every figure to look the same, so I think a head swap between these two is really going to make a really cool fix-up. I think we're going to be, you know, it's, it's going to look fire. I think both figures are going to come out looking even better, and since I have an original version of both these already, might as well switch them up, see what we can get going. So Randy Orton is getting the old fix-up there. Next up, we have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat from Elite Series 93. If you guys missed the review on this guy, definitely go check it out one of the better figures in the set in my opinion i didn't know i had this but i had an extra ricky the dragon steamboat head sculpt and if you guys are looking at this this is the head sculpt that i like more i think this head sculpt's better i want to say this is the defining moments ricky the dragon steamboat it may not be it may be the fan takeover or something like that but i like this head sculpt better than this i think it has more likeness even though this has true effects i think this looks slightly better than this so we're gonna put this over here and see what it looks like you know the, the headband's not removable but i sometimes some of those cartoony head sculpts look better than the true effects and we gotta we gotta you know tip the cap there sometimes on that note next up on our agenda we got cesaro right here man and cesaro god dang man all the figures trying to fall cesaro right here we had a big old jiffy with him man we had a lot of stuff going on with him some things that i am just not a fan of with this figure a lot of people were pooping on this figure all over social media all over the different channels but you guys will notice he has a weird formula like he's got like this diaper deal going on his legs are very massive he he just is a weird figure man so today we're gonna attempt to switch around some stuff now, i don't know exactly what i want to do here but i have like one of two options okay the first thing we're gonna do is switch his arms with this stone cold steve austin and i'll say these arms are probably too small but i think they're gonna kind of bring it back to earth you know his arms are big but i think that putting these arms over here it's first of all it's going to give him dual black wrist tape so i have both arms with black wrist tape but also i think that it's really just gonna create better proportion and sometimes that's what you gotta sacrifice because like this chest with those arms I don't think will look that bad so we're just gonna attempt it we'll see what that looks like but outside of that I'm stuck between two different figures on the legs I don't know if I want to put these thighs on it or these Goldberg thighs off the entrance grates elite now if you're trying to keep your Cesaro figure like they're usually you know how they usually come you're going to have more of this Goldberg look where they're like really jacked and lean and if you're going for more uh, of a fuller cesaro you'll get more of the middle guy there and i guess these legs are about the same i guess are they the same damn nah maybe on just on video i i think i'm gonna roll with the goldberg legs i think it'll make it look better but then you're dealing with like shorter calves here even though cesaro has rocked boots like this but i love these new boots I, I like the way these look i just don't know if they're gonna look right on certain calves these are like the tall boots calves so i don't know what i'm gonna do there i might just 
just full on swap the ball joint, see what the short boots look like, and kind of just, you know, just play by ear. See what it looks like, and if it sucks, it sucks. And then we could always switch these thighs on there with these lower legs, or put these lower legs onto these. I don't know. Again, we, we're going to have to play around with it. Honestly, these calves on the Goldberg legs may not look bad, but you don't know. We're going to have to switch it up, see what it looks like, and then go from there. Next up, we have some pretty cool stuff going on. Now, this KO right here, this is my extra KO that is not the Stone Cold. You guys know that I made Stone Cold KO. I was going to, uh, I had to pick the figure up again, but I liked putting these Elite 66 shorts on there because it really brings out all the blue together. So I'm just going to pop these legs into here, bring this guy back to what he used to look like. It's the double jointed, beautiful KO Elite. And that is what we're going to do for him. And then last but not least, we have some really sick gauntlets right here. And I want to zoom in on this because I want you guys to see what we're working with right here. Look at this sick ass Roman blue gauntlet. This is from my man Paj Customs or Paj Customs, P-A-J underscore Customs on Instagram. We have this blue gauntlet right here that I want to put on these Roman Reigns back here. Not only do we have the blue gauntlet, but we have this like custom camo gauntlet right here, which is just insane. Look at that right there, dude. Look at that hand paint job right there. That is insane. And then we have this like purple and gold one. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gold gauntlet off of those Romans and I'm going to put one of them in blue and one of them in camo to go with like our assortment of Roman gauntlet colors. And then I'm not going to use the gold and purple one today. I'm going to take these Romans and remove their legs and their gauntlets. So first of all, we can put the cool gauntlets on there, but I'm actually going to switch their legs with these Usos over here because I, I made these a while ago on surgery, but their legs have this weird stance to them because of the crotch. Like I like these Usos. I think they're cool, but since we're getting the new black jogger Usos, I don't really want these anymore. You know, like I think they're cool, but I think I want more Roman fix ups instead because these have that again, they have this weird like wide base crotch and uh, also the crotch is painted and it kind of takes me out of it. And those are also double jointed with the new Usos we're going to be getting. So I just, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I'm going to put these shorts over here to give him that pick fed look that he usually has on MDT live. So we're going to have some really cool fix up Romans going. It's going to be really sick once I get even the tights painted. I don't know when I'll paint the tights, but you guys get the point. Let's dive into surgery and get this thing started. All right, man, let's get into it. Starting off with the surgery. I guess we can start off with basic head swaps, right? I mean, like new release, like Randy and Ricky over there. I mean, they don't even need nothing. So we're just going to plop Randall Keith over here. We got his head, other head. Well, wait, we do need this one. This is that one. Okay, we actually do need this. I'm not going to just sit here and do these two basic swaps, though, man. You know, we got to load it up. We got to load up as much as we possibly can. So we got Randall Keith. We got Ricky the Dragon. Uh, I do not know what the hell else I want to do right now. Uh, we got a bunch of leg swaps and shish, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and switch Kev. You know, we might as well get Kev in here. You got to place it right. You know, you got to get everything in the flow of the heat. Sorry about that steamboat. I feel like we could at least we could we could flex one more, right? We could flex one more. Okay, we could definitely we gotta do these KO legs as well. There's one, there's the other. I wanna flip them right set up. You want the holes to be exposed. That's that was weird to say. I guess what we can do now is just go for Cesaro's arm. So we'll go ahead and take Austin's off. I know he has the one pointer finger, but I'm gonna have to buy another one of these figures because I love this figure and pretty much like a perfect Stone Cold Steve Austin like starter. So I'm just gonna put that right there. Like a base for an Austin, man. That's like the perfect one. That and the Ultimate Edition, I mean, it's pretty much just perfection. So that, and then Cesaro coming in hot, and then uh, then we'll just be left with all these legs over here, but hopefully this actually gets the job done. Now, I don't know how well this arm swap's gonna go for Cesaro. You know, it may fall flat on its face, and this these swaps may fall flat on their face. I gotta make sure that all the heat gets packed in there, but we do have the trusty old white hair dryer who's just been a long-time staple of the channel. Trusty Knight. Trusty Knight's got some rust building up because he hasn't been on the channel in a while, but we'll get around to him. Alright man, let's see if that is good enough. We're gonna find the hell out, Brad. I'm kind of scared, but uh, let's see what we got. Alright, got the first Cesaro arm off. Got the second one off. And then we do have Austin's arms here. I think these have like the same insert, you know, so I think they should go on, you know, relatively easy there. There's the one arm for Cesaro. 
There's the other arm for Cesaro. We'll put him over here. We do have to heat up his legs later. But here's the jacked arms on Austin. You know, this may actually make this figure look better. We'll have to see. I felt like they made his Ultimate Edition too skinny, to be honest. But look at that. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna... That's not gonna work, bro. Not gonna work. You guys can see there. Like, watch when it goes on. It, you get that gap, you know? Like, look at it. Just not a fan of that. We'll have to... I don't know. I may have some Austin arms somewhere else. But I don't think that's gonna cut it. Cesaro may... You know, he may be okay. But Randall Keith right here... God, dude, I'm so glad that, like, we don't have to worry about snapping neck pegs on newer figures anymore. But if we want this to be right, we do have to go ahead, pop off Ricky, go ahead and pop the old head sculpt on here. Woo-wee! Very nice. Sitting him to the side. And then this Orton, I almost put that Orton back on that one. Uh, pop that one off. Put this one on the Elite 67. Very nice. And he'll go over here and then popping the Elite 67 onto the Elite 90. Good Jesus. I think we got it. Okay, nice. All right, now Kevin Owens, see if we can get him going. Oh, well, Jesus Christ. He's not even... It's not even relatively close, bro. Wasn't even close. That means that we're about to do a shish ton of leg swaps right now. Okay, we're gonna hit that right there. I'm gonna put that right there. This should be fun. All just widespread eagle on them. Love that for everyone involved. Good lord, there's no way we're hitting all these, bro. There's like 17 of these leg wide open things. You know what I'm saying? There's no way this works. I, I don't believe it for a freaking second. Because look at this. You got... <laughs> you have Cesaro KO, both Usos, and then you have both Romans, bro? Get the hell out of my face. There's no way that's working. Give me the white trusty hair dryer. And we have the freaking Goldberg. Uh-uh, not even believing it. All right, bro. I don't know if that's even going to work. I hope to God this works. Okay, we got those off, and we got those off. All right, these can go over here. I feel bad for these Usos, man. These Usos were quite expensive, too, to make. And now, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those. So, I guess they'll just... I, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with those. That kind of sucks eggs. But we got our two legs here. I want to make sure that, you know, we get the right pairings for these. You know, so... Keep those together. Cesaro. Good Lord at the looseness. Jesus Christ. All right, there's that. And then K over here. He's good there. He's good there. Now, plopping these legs into this right here. Very sweet. I'm not going to make a Stone Cold KO out of this, so... He'll be safe up on the shelf now. There's that one. Now, we have a legless Cesaro, and we need to get our Romans, and we need to get our Goldberg in here, and we're gonna see what comes of this. We don't need to heat up Cesaro anymore. I, th I mean, I could just heat this up just to see, but I feel like the Goldberg's gonna be the way to go because Cesaro figures always have the, the you know, the nice thighs right there, but this will go here, and then these will go here, and then... We have two Romans. Now, I don't know how the blue hell I'm going to be able to heat all of this up right here, but we're going to attempt it. I wish every WWE Elite was on ball joints, man. I really, really do. I, I cannot stress enough how much I wish that was the case. Nonetheless, man, we're going to have to get the Romans in position, get these, you know, again, you want them to be spread eagle. That's good right there. It just sucks that we have to add another Roman on top of that. If I didn't have to add another Roman up there, I would feel much more confident about getting all this heated up because I feel like I don't know if the beam is big enough for the white trusty hair dryer to get all that heat right there into where it's supposed to go, but I guess we're going to attempt it anyway. All right, Brad, let's go ahead and hit it. Hopefully, we can get all of this knocked out right here. All right, the one Roman's good. Let's go ahead and plop these in here. There's that. And then there is that. We'll let that cool off. And then we have the second Roman. The lower you go down, it should be easier to plop in there, you know, because I feel like these had more beam of heat in there. So there is that. That looks sick. Now, again, I know the skin tones aren't going to match on the calves, but again, we're going to paint those at a later date to make it look like he's wearing tights. Completely custom made that whole entire attire up a long time ago, and here we are. But there's Goldberg. Now we can pop this into Cesaro like that. And then the other side. We can plop that in here. Ugh. 
All right, we'll take a look at that in just a moment, but we do have to put on our Roman gauntlets. Would you rather? I'll just see you guys in the next segment, and you guys can see what they look like all lined up with each other. All right, man, here's everything we did today on action figure surgery. Looking pretty swell, if I don't say so myself, or if I do say so myself, you dumb idiot. Let's look at Roman Reigns, man. Look at these cool gauntlets that we have going on. Do you guys like the camo better or the blue? I mean, to be real with you, the blue obviously stands out really well. Like, it's kind of fantastic the way it stands out. I almost feel like if you did both gauntlets, it would look better maybe, but I still like the one gauntlet. Like, it still looks pretty cool. You know, all the power and that Superman punch from the big dog, but I still love the way that looks. Like, especially with tights and maybe even, like, painting the shoes a different color or maybe even the tape would be different or maybe even just painting the tips of the shoes blue or or just the tights being blue or both or maybe a blue belt you know lots of lots of different things you can do with this roman so we'll see we'll play that by ear you guys can let me know i think camo tights on this guy would look sick as hell with you know like some green or brown boots or something i don't know i think you could really you know do them up nice there but you guys can let me know your thoughts on that i think both of these turned out sick just like the way i wanted them to i think you know they look fantastic gotta see those in the fucking ring though we, i want to see those in ring action on mdt live next up is the cesaro and and I mean, it turned out just about like I thought it would. One thing that I'm having an issue with is that, I mean, I guess it's not as loose now, but when I first popped them in there, they were kind of loose, but it just looks like he's wearing a diaper, like the way, how big it is. But I guess at the same time, like this does look better than it did, you know, like especially the arms. I think the arms have better proportion. I think the legs have better proportion. I may switch the calves and boots with uh, with this figure just to give him the, the longer boots because I like the way those boots look, but this still looks like something Cesaro would wear. So it's not like a huge difference there but at the same time i think it fixed up the figure well it kind of makes it look more you know uh proportionate like i said but i think that it does make the figure a little bit more boring so that is something that we'll have to fix but Cesaro looks good we also have our two randy ortons here this turned out fantastic i thought that it would work out and it did i think both randys look insane and now we have you know a couple more different looks there this is back when you know we had beefier arms but they're single jointed now we need to see beefy arms double jointed for our next randy so that will really make it perfect but i still like both of these they turned out really sweet and i'm happy to have you know better looking fix-ups for orton there in the collection here's ring of the dragon steamboat i love this i think this looks much better honestly i i just do not like that new head sculpt we got so i think this this looks a lot better for me you guys can let me know you like the cartoony old head sculpt from mattel or the new one and then last but not least we do have our redone ko here with the elite 66 thighs or or shorts and it looks so good i mean it, it just writes itself man all the blue ties in together with the white and it pops off nice kale's looking good man but what an epic day of surgery i didn't i didn't know exactly what to expect but i think we got it all together man i think everything turned out pretty damn fire and i think my favorite fix up is probably one of the ortons or the blue gauntlet reigns but i do like the camo the camo is sweet as hell too just kind of it's going to depend on what we do to the tights how we add everything together man but that is going to do it for today's action figure surgery man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below but i'm getting out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my name toys and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like cesaro's terrible figure you cross the line